So I made myself this magical fairy headdress crown thing and it was super super easy. I think it only took me like an hour and a half and it probably only costs like $10, $15 to make. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this. Look how cool it is. Look how cool this is. I'll do a little spin for you. Wow. Honestly, the camera doesn't show all the fun flashes. Um, but yeah, anyway, so you'll make a template first. Um, I'm just using cicada wings as my reference picture. Um, pretty much any natural design is going to be free to use. Be careful. I wouldn't try to like copy or rip any anyone else's fairy wing designs off. Um, but you can make your own if you want. Um, but again, I'm just kind of going off of a cicada wing because that feels very fairy-like to me. Um, but you could do bee wings, you could do butterfly wings, you can make your own thing up. Um, and then you can see I'm putting the headband down and kind of getting a feel for how big I want each wing to be. Um, I would say in general, like, I mean, think a little bit about where you're going to wear this. Um, if you're going to be outside, maybe try to make sure that they're not too gigantic because you've got to, like, take into account that it could be windy or you don't want to bump into people too much if you're going into, into like, a festival. Um, you could bend them backwards slightly and that might help mitigate some problems, but I think the biggest wing is about five inches what? Well, and the smallest is probably like three. Um, and as you can see, I have three wings here. Um, my final design did end up, end up with a total of eight wings on the headband. Um, but I, I honestly think it looked pretty with three, two on each side. Um, Anyway, so then you're going to take your PET, pet plastic, whatever it is, um, I will link that down in the description below, and you're going to trace on the wing design. Um, it's pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm sorry, my hair is kind of in the way, and I'm just using a regular old Sharpie for this. Um, you might want to try to get the fine tip one if you have really, really small details, but I honestly feel like the regular Sharpie did just fine. Um, I do go over it a few times to make the line work, the veins, like, more opaque, but other than that, it's super, super easy. Take your time. There's no rush, and you don't need it to be super, super perfect because nature is not perfect, so don't freak yourself out. Um, and then you're going to do this all over again for the other side. Um, it's kind of nice because it's translucent. You don't have to flip anything over. It's just, it's the same back and forth if that makes sense um and here i have them all cut out i just used scissors you can use an exacto knife if you want it to be more precise i didn't really care because i thought it would look cool no matter what i think if i was going to sell these or gift them i would be a little bit more um particular about how i was making them but there i have the headband kind of showing you the general vibe the general pattern all right, so before I adhere the wings to the headband, I want to make sure I have the cellophane on. So I'm using E600 glue. Um, I will link that down below too. You might want to use something that you can get a little bit thinner of a coat onto. This stuff kind of gets lumpy, um, but it dries super, super clear and it's super strong. Like nothing is going to come between the glue and whatever you're gluing it to. It stays super, super, super strong onto anything so I, I really like this glue um but you could use mod podge you could use honestly probably just plain elmer's glue um anything would probably be okay uh, i'm just using this because it's what i have so honestly whatever you have is probably fine um and once i get the glue on each wing i just slap on the cellophane um and these are again like scrap pieces so they're a little bit bent up and beat up but i didn't really care um, if you want them to be more perfect, make them more perfect. Um, you could use a credit card or something to really flatten out all the air bubbles, but I didn't really care that much. Um, I think the final result still looked really, really cool. Um, but this was just for me, so I'm, I was not too bent out of shape for it. And then I'm cutting just a few pieces of plastic off of my other wings, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And then when the glue is a little bit more dry, I just go ahead and cut it out. Um, this glue does take about 70 hours to fully set, um, but it's pretty tacky, like I'd say 20 minutes after you've applied it. So I don't feel uncomfortable handling them. Again, if you want them to be perfect, I suppose really wait for them to dry, but I don't really care. I had a, I had a project to make, I had a vision. Um, I hope you can kind of see better here that this, um, cellophane has like really pretty green pink blue shifts um i didn't really get a good 
video for the final picture because it's dark where I am in the morning and at night and I work too much so I can't get good pictures right now. I hope you can see in this short little clip that I bent those little tabs at the end and that's where they adhere to the headband. Can you kind of see? So I used electrical tape to initially get them stuck on and then I just put a ton of that glue, the E600 on there and then to hide the tape I just put flowers on top. Um, I could, if I want to, I can just peel that tape off as soon as the glue is set. I'm not really worried about it for me personally. Um, but yeah, here they are in their beautiful, full, magical, rainbow fairy glory. Look how cool they are with the flowers. So here they were initially with just the six wings total, so three on each side. I thought they were super pretty, and there's no flowers. You can still see the tape, and it's kind of janky. But then here is the finished version with four per each side. I think they look insane. They're super cool. They are really tough. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to break these that easily. So yeah.